What year did you establish uh, the HKA? And what year did you establish the IKKF? 1972 was the HKA, mm -hmm. and um, 1991, uh, I think it was 91, was the uh, IKKF. And what were your main goals uh, for the IKKF? Was it a uh, trying to bring back some of the uh, collection of, of teachers that uh, seemed to be lacking in your in your sense? Uh, there was a little bit of a, of a splintering happening, and you wanted to try to get people discussing again, or if you could talk a little bit about that. Uh, <coughs> yes. We had, as with everything, uh, any organization, you had uh, uh, organizational and, and, and interpersonal issues. One of the things with, with Oda Sensei and the OKKKF uh, was, well, Oda Sensei was a, a great uh, teacher. Uh, his organizational skills were unquestionably wanting. Uh, and the inability to say no really caused a lot of problems. Uh, when I first came with him, uh, he appointed me as a, a U.S. director. Uh, and then later became international director for the OKKKF. Um, and the intent, we put a lot of time and effort in trying to structure and organize and, and, and bring things together that had been very loose-knit before. <coughs> and that was typical of the Okinawan way. But it doesn't work. It, it works for one dojo in Okinawa, but it doesn't work when you have many dojos in many countries. Um, <coughs> initially, prior to that, when Sensei would, would come to the States and just visit dojos independently. And that ended up in, in we refer to Sensei sometimes as like a chameleon-ish. Okay, he would, he would change and, and adjust, okay. Uh, well, you ended up having like little different rules of Okinawa Kenpo at each dojo. Each dojo was sort of its own thing, combined with the flavor of that instructor, where they came from, because a lot of our people came from, like myself, or what we call retreads, an affectionate term for someone coming from the outside. Uh, and uh, that was part of our strength, too, I think. Um, but you had these differences. So one of the first things we did was say, okay, when Sensei comes over, so in 84, when we first brought, brought him over the first time, was one training, one focus, bring everybody together. <coughs> For a number of years, that was, it was something you have to do, but it's something you, you were happy to get through it. It's like going to the dentist. You know you have to go, and it's going to be very painful while you're there, but ultimately it'll be a good thing. Well, that was sort of the thing here. I mean, we almost had, had fisticuffs breaking out because it came down to, I don't know, a bunch of good, good people, <coughs> very focused, but they each came with, well, Sensei told me this. Sensei told me this. Well, Sensei told me this. And they were all correct. But until we got together, and then you got the Sensei there, and then you said, okay, Sensei, what, what do you want? Okay, then finally a lot of that, that smoke cleared, and Sensei, this is what I want. And that was the hardest thing to get him to make those, this is it. Okay, then we, we adjusted. Sometimes we were, okay. But, but that's, that was needed. That was needed. And then we all got on the same playing field. Uh, you know. um, and that, that was real critical. But that took a number of years to, to, to do that. But I think that was one of the good things that came about. It also built... As time went on, it built camaraderie uh, and, and people making those connections uh, and ultimately working together and appreciating the, the, the differences because it made us just that much stronger rather than looking, well, he, you're doing it wrong. No. You know? And Sensei didn't feel that that was that wrong that he needed to correct it. It just wasn't exactly the same as, as this. It wasn't exactly the same as that. So that was the one thing that we, we started to do. What happened ultimately, though, is that um, the structure was there, but the sensei didn't always follow the structure. The so sensei did some things that went totally against everything that we had set up. Um, and that, 
that caused some some problems. And so that was really the basis after a lot of hard thought, because it was the hardest thing I ever did, but uh, well, second hardest. But we set up the IKKF because the people that that I had directly responsibility for and <clears throat> I couldn't I felt if I'm asking somebody to make a transition to to the system that that system should not be changing uh, that system shouldn't have different rules for different people um, and have a set of rules but if you if you can't don't want to meet them you don't have to type of thing um, and I couldn't operate that way um, so but I still wanted to, to be with Sensei I wanted to keep his way and so that's what we set up the IKKF to be affiliated with the OKKKF <coughs> and then, so that was that was sort of how that that came about um, and uh, that worked for for a number of years and then the structure in the OKKF became very fluid uh, with different people vying for, for control and, and uh, all trying to do what they thought was, was sometimes best for Sensei or in some cases you know, best for themselves. Uh, but it came a lot of power struggles and, and uh, it really got to the point where uh, we just said, you know, for the system, for the good of the system and to keep Sensei's way alive for future generations and, and to meet my responsibility to him we had to we had to break that connection that was the hardest thing I ever did in my life because up to that point not everything had been focused to get to back to that group um, but to, to make that recognition that you know and, and no one's perfect and that's that's not a negative thing with to say again sensei and I always loved him and will continue to love and respect him for, for all that he's taught us and that uh, but he was human, and that was his, his problem. Uh, there were issues with um, um, sale of rank. There were issues with people being, being promoted that, that didn't deserve it. Uh, <coughs> and that hurts everybody. Um, and so that's, that's how this all transitioned.